So this is a message for all the singles out there. I want you to know that you deserve love in any way that it comes in for you. You have been pouring self-love into yourself. Does it make sense, you guys? Self-love into yourself? <laughs> You've been pouring love into yourself. There you go. And it's about time that you get that reciprocated by someone other than you. Of course, self-love is the most important, but I think it's time that you guys start receiving love because you have to know how special and unique and wanted and needed you are in this world and everyone deserves romantic love everyone deserves to be loved on everyone deserves intimate time everyone deserves intimate time <laughs> and um don't let anyone tell you that you are too scarred you have too much baggage you know you're getting too old just give it up just be single and date no you deserve to be married if that's what you want you deserve to have a lifetime partner if that, that's what you want a lot of you guys will be meeting people who you will be doing business with and you guys are going to fall in love or you will be doing business with your future partner and that will make your bond so unbreakable that no one can come in between no third party no family member no other business opportunity no exes from the past no f buddy from the past no one can come in between this new partnership that's coming in you might have already met this person and then you guys didn't talk for a long time and then they're popping back up like hey you know and nothing toxic don't think about the toxic people that do this type of shit it's someone that you guys might have just lost touch or you guys might have just didn't decide to text each other but you guys had an attraction you guys had like some sort of connection you guys both knew it it might have scared them more than it scared you and they might have had some work to do on the inside and um being that they're at the tail end of their work of finishing their soul work now they're going to come back in to explain why they didn't you know take the opportunity when it first happened this might you might have met this person in the summertime you might have met them in september you might have met them in the beginning of the summertime you might have met them in the end of the summertime but now they're ready to forge some side of some sort of relationship with you and let me tell you it's gonna be more than just friends but you guys already had this connection and they know this too that's probably why they ran off like they did because they were afraid of how strong your vibes were because you have some strong vibes you have some strong vibes okay and that can be intimidating to people like once you tell someone that you were like for example you were sitting to their life to help them or to be with them they will get scared by that not everyone's ready to hear that even if they are spiritually in tune, they're like, oh, wow, that's some strong energy right there. So they know that they have work to do before they come to you full force. They know they have work to do before they be in your environment. They can't come to you still worrying about another ex or worrying about old family issues. Um, but also I'm hearing as well, this person will also help you finish off a part of your healing, a section of your healing. The healing never stops, but they're going to help you finish off a part of your healing um, concerning love, concerning mending, um, or not mending, but patching up I'm sorry, confirmation. Old wounds that only another person can do by loving on you and showing you love because the healing, all the healing will not come from you putting all the love into yourself, okay? Yes, a lot of it will come. The majority of it will come. Don't get, don't get me wrong. But sometimes the chosen ones need love from other people in a romantic way or, the, or another person because we lack that love, not romantic love when we were a child, but we lacked love from our parents when we were a child. So we can't get that love back because we already decided to leave our parents where they stand. But now here comes a lover that's going to make up for, and you too, you're going to help them too in the same way. That's why it's going to work out. You're going to help them in the same way they're going to help you. And you might not even be knowing that you're doing this with this person, but you guys are going to build that bond through, you know, intimate time. And not only through that, just spending time together, reading books together. You guys might even get the same book and be in the same room, reading the same book and not even be talking to each other. And that's how you guys might bond. I don't know where that came from. That was a, that was a message. So it won't only be from physical activity. It will be from doing things with each other that you guys both like and enjoy. Like eating food, going out to eat together, going getting couple massages, couple manicures, couple pedicures, things like that. You know, self-care with each other. That's how you heal. So I just want you to know that love is coming in only if you want it to. You have to be open and have an open heart and open mind, but love is coming in. So don't be frustrated about being alone at this time. This alone time is meant for you to maintain your spiritual algorithm and allow for new love to come in and fit into that algorithm. All right, I love you, bye.